All praise to the Lord Most High. All praise to the One who saved my life. Everybody, Wade McNutt here, pianomeditation.com. God, we just call you into this lesson. We pray for the student wherever they are in the world. And we just proclaim today that you are our King, always and forever, God. In your holy name, amen. All right, so this is by Josh uh, Baldwin, or the recording that we're going to do. It's uh, from the live recording where the piano does the little intro. And uh, so, and it's in the key of A, so if you want to play along with it uh, after this lesson, you can just find that video and uh, play along with it. If you don't have cheat sheets, go ahead and find those. It'll show you uh, kind of the chords we're working on. Uh, it doesn't have songs in it, but it shows you uh, how to move around chords. It's a really great thing for uh, for worship piano. So down below in the description, it says email list. Uh, you can sign up for that and get those cheat sheets. Um, and the chords and lyrics are below the video, so you can copy and paste those as well. Well, so looking at the intro, we're going to be in this position here, and it's actually uh, our first three chords of the song. So if you look in the uh, cheat sheets, you see the F sharp minor is this here in the right hand, F sharp, A, C sharp. And uh, for my new listeners, you might be wondering, why don't you just play it like this, F sharp, A, C sharp? Well, we're just going to take those same notes, put them in a different order. A, C sharp. We still have the same chord, but it's going to allow us to put everything kind of in the, the exact same spot, and it's going to sound better, more professional, and be easier to play, honestly. Um, so that's a great thing about those uh, cheat sheets. Um, so this F sharp minor, now what I want you to do is actually, let's move this note, so if you need to write that in, uh, you can do that. But that's going to make it a minor 7, but it's going to watch what happens with the next chord. So when we go to our E... You don't even have to move this pinky. E, G sharp, B. And it's an E slash G sharp. So after the slash is just talking to the bass player. That's why the left hand does it. You can play an E here if you want to in your thumb. So those first two movements, ba, ba, and then to an A chord. And if you want to put this note in with your A chord, uh, you can do that as well. All right. Um, so I know it says F sharp minor, but you can, uh, I would say most of the time you can play, make it a seven like we did, and it's gonna work out just fine. Now another option on that second movement, uh, when you go to the E slash G sharp, you could actually do this in the left hand, play that and just go rock and roll here. So instead of playing it like this, we're just replacing, anyway, see what feels best for your hands, uh, and you can get that going. So in the intro, it's just one, Four, five, six, one, two, three, 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 four, five, six, one, two. And then you're into the song. So we have our first three chords. You gave your life for mine. Nail to the cross, you crew. And we'll uh, sing a play through this uh, at the end all together. I'm just kind of breaking down these parts for you. So here we have an A sus to an regular A chord. So sus just means you move this middle note up to there, to the four, A sus. Uh, you might also see it as a sus four, but sus four and sus are the same thing. Sus two would bring it down here. So crucified and keep going. All of my sin and shame, I was washed. So A slash, now we're looking at our, after the slash. So C sharp in the bass. Washed by your mercy. All right, so we have a D2 chord. So our regular, if you look in the cheat sheets, regular D is here. Uh, but to, to make it a two, you gotta add in this E note. So you could do this like that, or even a more simple way so that your hand still doesn't have to move much. And this is what I would do. Um, so after A slash C sharp, I would do just this. So essentially what it is is a, a D sus two. Uh, you don't have to think that hard if you don't want to, <laughs> just do what I'm playing. Uh, but again, it keeps everything from moving much. All right, so play that. Wash by your mercy. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five. 
five. Verse two, you are the treasure I find. Three, four, five, six, reason for living. So let my life come in offering one who is worthy. Five, six, one, two, three. Okay, so you might think um, I'm moving too fast for you. What you need to do is I've shown you all the chords. So uh, write those down, put them on the cheat sheets, whatever you got to do. And then you need to work through those chords to where you can move through everything we just did without having to think about it. Okay, get your hands to where they're not, you know, they're thinking on their own, and then you can focus on singing and doing the other stuff for the song. If you're ready for that, we'll move on to the chorus now. So here we go. For, right on an A chord, and you can, again, add this in to make it an A add nine or an A2. All praise to the Lord. Now we have this E sus chord, uh, which is just going to be this. So, so let me, just a real quick theory thing. Here's a regular E chord. E, G sharp, B. To make it a sus, you move up this middle note to the A. All right, so now that we have our E chord inverted, E, G sharp, B, here's where that middle note is. Since it's inverted, we move it up to the A, of the E sus. If that's too much for you, don't even think about it. Just keep moving through. <laughs> Sometimes I um, I just want to give you that information if, if you're ready for it. All right, so the Lord Most High, E sus, and then... Back to the chords we know. All praise to the one who saved my life. All praise to Jesus Christ, High King of Heaven, my King forever. Intro. Verse 3. You storm the gates. All right. So you should be able to work through that. Um, <laughs> so let's jump over to the instrumental. Again, uh, we will play through this, pray through this here at the end, but here at the instrumental. Now this is something, depending on the recording, the guitar player would do. Maybe you don't have a guitar player. Maybe it's just you. So if you want to play that part, which is... Da -da -da. So slowly, you're just doing this, essentially. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Nah. And it's hard to count that because it's it's a weird rhythm. But um, that's how it is. So let me start on that B. I just looped that for you for a second so you kind of see what the rhythm is. It's a little weird uh, since it doesn't land right on the where the click would be. Okay, so we have that first part da, 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 to the B. And we do the da 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 again, but now we're on an F sharp and then four, five, six. And now to the A here. All right, so it's kind of. One thing, uh, well, that's, that's going to be confusing. I won't say it with that, that way. So let me play it slowly. Two, two, three, four. Instrumental. And now it's repeating. And that instrumental, that can build. You can play that for a long time. Uh, I think you can even do it over the bridge if you wanted to, depending on what your uh, music director wants to do. All right. Uh, now to the bridge. Uh, and let's just chord through this. Let's see. I lift my hands up, lay my whole life down, my whole life down before you. Repeat it. Lift my hands up. Okay, 
Okay, so nothing really new besides that uh, that B minor seven. Now here's what I'm doing. Um, again, this is it's. You might look at it and go, "Why in the heck are you doing that?" Well, a regular B, regular B minor is this, and you can add in this to make it a seven. But instead of stretching my hand up here, I just decided to go ahead and play it like this. And it sounds nice. Very common thing to do in worship. It's the little four there. Uh, you don't have to think too hard about it. Just, just remember how your hands feel moving from that A to the B minor. All right, just think that way because it's a stylistic thing that why this happens. And then it's so nice. Then to the F minor seven, F sharp minor seven, then to the D two, A. So just get used to that. You can play the bridge. Now you should have all the chords. You got to work it out yourself. Work out the instrumental. Work out the uh, intro. And one last thing that I do want to show you um, is if you want to make the rhythm feel that six, eight time. One, two, three, four, five, six. This thumb here, hmm, give me a thumbs up. Um, is going to be very instrumental in that. So let's just stay on an A chord. This might be too much for some people. That's okay. If you're ready for it, try it. But one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four. All right. So just how this goes in between it. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one. All together. Two, and three, and four, five, and six. So it gives you that feel as you move through the chords. So now I'm going to move through the chords. So be too fast for you to see, but you, you'll get the idea of how this thumb is moving. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a little different when it's the measure is split like that. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then. So that's something you can work on for six, eight time to really kind of get that feeling down uh, and move into everything feeling right with the, with the piano. All right, so work work on that. Um, and one more thing I want to point out. I already said one more thing. We're going to do one more thing one more time. Uh, in the cheat sheets, uh, if you look on that key of A, at the bottom there's something called Nashville numbers. Uh, something that you need to move into as you develop is, is thinking in numbers. So for example... Um, and this will help you transpose songs and it'll open up a whole nother, another world of, of uh, piano for you. Uh, music in general, actually. So if you look at what's our F sharp minor, if you look at the bottom of that, what number is above it? It says it's a six dash, which means minor, six minor. Okay, now look at your E. What's your E? Your E is a five. What's a G sharp? G sharp is a seven. So we're just looking at those numbers at the bottom of the, the page. So you have a five slash seven. So what the numbers would be if we were thinking in numbers and then to a, which is a one. So six minor five slash seven, one. So let's say you wanted to play this in a different key. And I, I'm always thinking in numbers now. Uh, this is where I can, I can t take anything to any key as quickly as I want to. Let's say we want to go to a key of G. All right. So if you turn to that in cheat sheets, uh, then you can look and go, what's my six minor? Six minor is a E minor. What's my five? It's a D. What's my seven? F sharp. So D slash F sharp. And then your one is a G. So now I can go, you gave your life for mine. I'm already playing in a new key. To the cross you crucified, right? What if I wanted to go in the key of F sharp? You gave your life for mine. Okay. Because of thinking in numbers, you can get to any key quickly. And it, like I said, it opens up a whole new world. So that's just something I wanted to show y'all. A uh, little added thing. All right, let's pray this thing together. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. First one. You gave your life for mine. Nailed to the cross, you crucified all my sin and shame. 
was washed by your mercy. One, two, three, four, verse two. You are the treasure I find. My reason for live, so let life become an offering to the one who is worthy. The chorus. All praise to the Lord Most High. All praise to the one who saved my life. All praise to Jesus Christ, High King of Heaven, my King forever. Intro. Verse 3. You storm the gates of my heart. The veil in between was torn apart. Now you hold the key to the grave. Cause you bring things to light. You roll stones away. All praise to the Lord Most High. All praise to the one who saved my Christ, High King of Heaven, my King for let's go to the instrumental. Do that again, instrumental. Bridge. Build it. Lift my hands up, lay my whole life down, my whole life down for you. I lift my hands up, whole life down, my whole life down is for you. Chorus and all praise to the Lord Most High. All praise to the one who saved. Christ, High King of Heaven, my King forever. All right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed that lesson. Learned a lot of things. There's so much to dig into, uh, but just develop one thing at a time. You know, get those chords down, work on natural numbers, work on maybe doing a more complicated rhythm. And uh, the more you build up those chops, the better you will. God bless you. Hope you have a great week. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.